Hello, I'm Adolfo Moya. Welcome to the Futura Technologies Quality of Fruits course. We are at module 2, Field Production and Quality, and this is the third presentation that will deal about integrated pest management. On this presentation, we are going to introduce the concept of what is integrated pest management. But first of all, we, sh we will define what is a plant prote protection product. Plant protection products are pesticides that protect crops or desirable or useful plants. They are primarily used in the agricultural sector, but also in other sectors as forestry or horticulture. They contain at least one active substance and have one of the following functions. To protect the plants or plant products against pests and diseases before or after harvest, to influence the life processes of plants, to preserve plant products, or to destroy or prevent growth of undesired plants or parts of plants. A plant protection product can also contain other components including safeners and synergists. What is integrated pest manage management? According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the FAO, integrated pest management is an ecosystem approach to crop production and protection that combines different management strategies and practices to grow healthy crops and minimize the use of pesticides. IPM is an approach-based method analysis of the agro-ecosystem and the management of its different elements to control pests and keep them an acceptable level, the action threshold, with respect to the economic, health and environmental requirements. Natural enemies are key components of IPM systems as they control insects or might pests. And that's why the ladybird has become a symbol for the integrated pest management production. According to the Environmental Protection Agency of the United States, the integrated pest management is an effective and environmentally sensitive approach to pest management that relies on a combination of common sense practices. IPM programs use current com comprehensive information on the life cycles of pests and their interaction with their environment. This information, in combination with available pest control methods, is used to manage pest damage by the most economical means and with the least possible hazard to people, property and the environment. The four steps of in the integrated pest management approach define the defini establish the definition of action thresholds with a percentage of damage that must be tolerated, the monitor and identify of pest, the prevention by use of, of cultural methods such as rotating between different crops or select selecting pest resistant varieties and plant fr planting pest free rootstocks. And finally the control, that once monitoring identification and action thresholds indicate that pest control is required and preventive methods are no longer effective or available, IPM programs they then evaluate the proper control method both for effectiveness and risk. Effective, less risky pest controls are chosen first, including highly tragic chemicals such as pheromones to, dis to disrupt, disrupt pest mating or mechanical controls such as trapping or wetting. If further monitoring identifications and action thresholds indicate that less risky controls are not working, then additional pest control methods would be employed such as targeted spraying of pesticides and broadcast spraying on not specific pesticides at last resort. As we have commented, IPM approach is based on the action of natural enemies. Between those ones we can, we can find predators that 
are animals that consume many prey during development. Generally, they are larger than prey. All stages of the development of these enemies may be predators and often generalist than, ra than specialist on only one prey type and eat both adults and immatures. The seven spot ladybird is the most common ladybird in Europe and both the adults and the larvae are voracious predators of aphids. And because of this, this ladybird has become a symbol of the IPM. We have also parasitoids and parasites. The parasitoids are immatures that feed only on a single host and almost always kill it. They are smaller than the host and they are often specialized in their choice of host species and life stages thereof. Only the female attacks the host and lays eggs on larvae or, or in the on or in the host. Immatures retain on or in the host Adults are free living and mobile and may be predaceous, feed on nectar or not feed at all. On the images you can see a uh, Cortesia congregata, that is a parasitoid wasp of the genus Cortesia, and adult wasps, wasp lay their eggs on tobacco hornworm, following hatching in the caterpillar. The wasp larvae will undergo two molds inside the host caterpillar's hemocoil, and after 12 to 16 days, post of reposition. The third instar wasp larvae will emerge from the caterpillar and spin cocoons from which the adult wasp fly about four to, t to eight years uh, days later. Parasitoids are distinct from true parasites in that a parasitoid will ultimately kill its host or otherwise sterilize it. The parasites are smaller than host and don't generally kill it. As an example, we, we can talk about several species of mites. Finally, the pathogens are diseases that ca caused by fungi, bacteria and viruses that kill the host. Some are naturally occurring and some have been commercially developed. Bacillus thuring thuringiensis, or BT, is a gram-positive soil-dwelling soil bacterium commonly used as a biolo biological pesticide. During sporulation, many Bt strains produce crystal proteins that have insecticidal action. Spores and crystalline insecticidal proteins produced by Bacillus thuringiensis have been used to control insect pests since the 1920s and are often applied as liquid sprays. They are now used as specific, specific insecticides under trade names such as Dipil and to it. Finally, it has to be said that IPM approach also allows chemical control when necessary and at a last resort, one that other options have not been effective. As a summary, we will say that plant protection products are pesticides that protect crops or desirable useful plants, active substances on Plant protection products could be harmful for people and or environment. Integrated pest management is an effective and environmentally sensitive approach to pest management that relies on a combination of common sense practices that use information to manage pest damage by the most economical means and with the least possible hazard to people, property and the environment. Thank you for attending this presentation. On the next presentation we will talk about different production systems.